Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. The role of cabinet secretaries is to ensure that they help the government to achieve its dreams. The cabinet secretaries are appointed to ensure that whatever they campaigned, whatever they promised Kenyans during the campaign, are implemented through their offices. Anytime you hear a cabinet secretary proposes something, there are chances that those could not be his or her thoughts. They could be the thoughts and feelings of the president himself. And I have realized that our government has got an appetite to ensure that they centralized everything within the national government so that all the departments that had got author any authority in ratifying what the national government wants to do, they no longer have that authority. Recently, President Ruto signed into law that when they want, when the national government wants to privatize uh, national corporations, maybe like Mombasa Port or Mumia Sugar, then there will be no parliament's hand in it. Parliament will not have a say. Because apparently, before signing that bill, whenever a government wanted to privatize any government corporation, then it had to pass through the parliament. Because while, while it passes through the parliament, it means that the people have a say because Kenyans voted and uh, elected members of parliament, both in the Senate and the National Assembly, to represent them. So that if you want to privatize something like Sony Sugar or Mumias, then the people of Sony Sugar have represented their member of parliament, have uh, elected a senator, who will then go and debate and find out if this is the, feel, the, 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 the feeling of the residents back at Mumias. But the president decided that this will not happen, so that any time the government proposes to privatize any government institution, then it will only pass through a cabinet meeting. And you know the cabinets are appointed by a president, and so they cannot fail to ratify the proposals that the president want, wants. There was also another crazy proposal, that any time a governor wanted to propose any taxes in uh, his or her county, then it had to pass through the national, through treasury. For example, if Governor Sakaja in Nairobi wants to propose maybe increment in uh, parking fees, then he had to, to, to write a proposal that will go to the treasury cabinet who will look at it. And if the treasury cabinet refuses, then the governor has got no authority to, to, to over, over, overrun or overlook what the cabinet secretary has said. This was a proposal, I don't know how far it has gotten, but it was a very crazy proposal that attracted, you know, vehement reaction from Kenyans. And this is why I'm telling you that our government has decided that everything must go back to the central government. You have seen any, any, every now and then, when the president or the deputy president visits a particular area, they will, they will always say, Kujeni State House to Pange. They believe in converging all the resources in State House or at the national government. So that when you want any kind of development, you would go to State House, you will carry a delegation, you will show praises to the president, and then you will be given a token of appreciation. And this is the kind of government that we have. So recently, I had the cabinet secretary, Moses Kuria, proposing that moving forward, we should uh, introduce a service fee whenever to get to government centers like Huduma Center to get uh, services that were apparently very free. And he proposed that we need to have to, to levy a particular fee on them. People reacted very vehemently on this and he made a quick U-turn saying that he was misquoted 
and he was quoted out of proportion. And if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen, it was not a coincidence because in politics, people don't just wake up and speak. Whenever they speak, this is something that has been crafted. And I have a feeling that Moses Kuria was either speaking the mind of the president or it is his feelings that Kenyans must pay a particular fee to get government services. And when he made this U-turn, I believe he realized that people were making a lot of noise and either through his own volition or after talking to William Ruto or Gashagwa, they decided, let, let, let us stop this. It can stop forever or it can stop for a while so that things cool down. Because I have realized that whenever William Ruto wants something to happen, it must. You remember the case of GMO that has been in court for over one year. Just last week, the court ruled that GMO will be consumed by Kenyans even though there was no public participation in it. When he decided that the Finance Bill 2023 had to pass, it had to go through by hook or crook because he controls parliament, he controls the courts, he controls everything. When Okhia Mutata went to court, it was a mere formality. Because the High Court judge, who gave a temporary order so that the government should not implement the finance bill that was coerced in Parliament, that judge was hurriedly transferred to Mombasa. And the Attorney General appealed, and you know what happened. So when William Ruto wants something, it will pass. And that's why I have a feeling that these people want to introduce a fee. And even though they have decided that it's going to cool for some time, it will be proposed maybe somewhere by next year and it will pass. It will be proposed, maybe it will be passed by parliament or in the cabinet, uh, cabinet meeting. Someone will run to court, the courts will do their own thing, maybe an, an injunction for a period of time pending hearing. Then when they come, they will pass, it will pass through. And so Moses Kuria exposed William Ruto. We cannot take it for granted. We, we, we don't just let it pass that way. We need to be very careful and speak on one accord that we, 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 we with the Kenyans already grappling with the high cost of living and heavy taxes on fuel products, on the, 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 the basic commodities, we can't allow the government to start charging free services because the way it is, it will reach a time when people will be paying for everything. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we really need to be very careful. Activists must speak against this. The Law Society of Kenya, we must sleep with one eye open. Otherwise, we'll wake up to headlines that you will be paying for services at the Huduma Center. I don't know what you think, but that is my take.